Welcome. I'm joining with the 58 Chief of Naval Personnel, the newly appointed Vice Admiral Robert Burke. Sir, thank you for being here today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. And congratulations on your new position. Thank you. I'm honored. So, sir, it's your first week on, on the job. What are some of the um, priorities that you would like to focus on at CMP in the next few months? Well, I think a lot of folks may not realize, but I've been working for uh, Admiral Moran for the better part of the last year. So I, uh, I was involved in the development of the, the current efforts that are underway, and I'm pretty invested in them. And I think they're the right thing for the Navy. So uh, the, the fleet won't really see much of a change in emphasis uh, from uh, the CMP or from the N1 organization. I would, uh, I would say that the, the priorities uh, really remain as, first and foremost, uh, keep the fleet fully and properly manned. We can't afford any uh, any uh, uh, movement backwards on, on that. Admiral Moran really put a lot of efforts in place in improved fleet manning and the feedback that we get from across the fleet is that that's made a different in quality of ser difference in quality of service and uh, quality of life. Uh, the, the second priority is going to be to deliver on Sailor 2025. Really bring it into a a program that, that is uh, up and running, continues to live and breathe and evolve as we learn more, as we figure out uh, new ways to increase career flexibility, transparency, and choices uh, for our sailors. And then the third priority is to uh, transform and overhaul our own internal manpower, personnel training, and education organization, our whole personnel system, so that we're able to deliver on Sailor 2025 and poise ourselves for a more competitive market for talent in the future.